Here is a short guide on creating flowcharts to help write dichotomous keys. Let's review the three key points of any quality dichotomous key. Each step is a dichotomy, a choice between two things, not one, not three, only two. Each step is a choice about external features of the organisms or objects the key is about. And the number of steps may only be exactly one less than the number of items. 12 items identified, 11 steps. 20 items identified, 19 steps. So what's a flowchart? A flowchart creates a visual representation of path choices. A flowchart helps you see your design better than a list. It helps prevent errors in the dichotomous key. And it helps you select and chart the choice paths. Unless otherwise directed by your instructor, a flowchart is a required rough draft of your dichotomous key project. Let's look at a dichotomous key you should already be familiar with, the fish. Specifically, let's look at just the key. I want to point out the structure. This is a step. Each step consists of two choices, choice A and choice B. For this dichotomous key to identify nine organisms, it has eight steps. Now we're going to flowchart at least part of the fish dichotomous key, so you can get an example of how the flowchart works. Start in the top left corner of your paper. Draw a box and write a shorthand version of your first step. Whatever your step is, it needs to divide your total group of things, fish in this example, into two smaller groups. They don't have to be equal groups, just two groups. The, this first box in the top left corner has to be step one. This is the only step that must have a definite number. Coming out of the boxes are arrows representing the two answers to the box's prompt. In this case, yes and no. Pick one of the arrows to follow. I'm going to follow the yes, yes arrow first. We'll come back to the no arrow later. The yes arrow leads to another dichotomy, this one about the pointed fins or smooth fins. And again, we'll have arrows coming out of the box for our choices. But now we'll have a final result, a name for an organism. It is important to use a different shape to represent the results so you don't confuse the answers with the steps. I'll use triangles here. The smooth fin choice leads to another result, so another triangle. Results are final, so there should never be arrows leaving a result. So now that this path is exhausted, we can go back to the no arrow from step one. This will lead to another step, another rectangle, which will lead to two more choices. Again, I'll deal with the yes arrow first. This leads to another step. And from this step will be two more choices, each leading to another final result. Now we return to the open arrow from the no option at the top of the page and add another step. <clears throat> I'm going to stop the example here, but this step would get two choice arrows leading for to further steps or results. A full flow chart of the fish dichotomous key would have eight boxes for each of the eight steps. Each box would have two arrows coming from them and there would be a total of nine final result triangles. Now we just need to number our steps to help us write our dichotomous key. Just assign a number to each box. Other than the first box, it doesn't matter which number goes to which box. Now you're ready to turn your completed flowchart into a dichotomous key. Let's look at what that process looks like. First, read the question in step one and state it, state it as a two-part question, like this. To get the go-to information, just follow the arrows to whatever boxes they lead to and write down those boxes' numbers. In this example, yes goes to four and no goes to two. Then for step two, 
look at the number two box on my flowchart and repeat the process I did for step one. I'll do the same thing for step three, the only difference being that step three leads to two answer choices. It is also okay if you mix, step, mix further steps with answer choices. You would work your way through for all eight boxes. All eight step boxes will have, will create steps for your dichotomous key. That's really it. It helps if you have at least a rough draft of your items first. So if you have something to, so you have something to work from on your flowchart. If you have any questions, ask your instructor. Good luck.